Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how to find Polaris, the North Pole. Um, I get a lot of questions about that because with a lot of scopes, uh, like this one, on an equatorial mount, uh, you need to polar align the mount. In other words, you've got to align this axis right here, the right ascension axis, to the North Pole in order for the mount to track correctly, just spinning one of the knobs, the right ascension knob, and it will follow objects as it moves through the sky. But if you don't point that at Polaris, it won't move in that one direction and the motor drive won't work and it's just, it's difficult to follow things. So you've got to learn how to find Polaris. Um, that might sound like a daunting task, but it's actually quite easy. It's the one star in the sky that really doesn't move at all. Um, and the reason is, Earth is spinning, right? Just imagine a top spinning. If you were to look at a top that's spinning nice and smoothly, uh, right on the axis of the spin, right above it, that's the, the axis of spin. So just like that top, Earth is spinning, and if you were standing right on the North Pole and you looked straight overhead, you would see Polaris. That's the one star that's right at the axis of rotation. Now, since I don't live on the North Pole, things are a little bit more difficult. Uh, Polaris is not directly overhead. It's at some angle off in the north. Well, that angle corresponds to your latitude on Earth. So uh, here in Cupertino, where our star is located, we're at 37 degrees north latitude. So what that means is Polaris is 37 degrees above the north horizon. It's exactly due north, not magnetic north, but true north, and then 37 degrees up. Well, if you have a compass, that may not work so well because um, magnetic north and true north can be pretty far off. Uh, for this location, I think it's about 17 degrees off. So if I was looking true north, my compass would read 343 degrees. And, it would mess me up completely. So you got to find Polaris in order to accurately align this. In the night sky, there are some uh, indicator points to help you find it. And the easiest one is the Big Dipper. It's one of the brightest constellations out there. Actually, the Big Dipper is, is more of a, an asterism. It's part of a larger constellation called Ursa Major, which is the, the Big Bear. Uh, but the Big Dipper looks like a, a large uh, frying pan. There's a bowl to it and then three stars make up the handle. Well, you can use two of the stars in the Big Dipper to point directly towards Polaris at any time of night, any time of year. Um, the, the Big Dipper is what they call, at least from this latitude, circumpolar. It never sets, it's always above the horizon. It might skirt down just above the north horizon uh, certain times of the year, but it always comes back up and it rotates around Polaris, just like everything else does in the sky. So, um, go outside, look up, find the Big Dipper, and you're going to use the two stars in the end of the bowl, the, star, the two stars away from the handle. Draw a line starting from the base of the bowl, the, the bottom of the bowl, towards the edge of the bowl, and then keep going. And it's about five times the distance between those two stars in a straight line, and you'll run right into Polaris. So a very simple way to find Polaris. Now, I said start from the bottom of the bowl and go to the top. You got to remember that sometimes of the year, the Big Dipper might be upside down, so the bowl will look like it's you know losing its contents uh, downwards. And other times, when it's skirting the horizon, it's upright like a normal frying pan would be. So you always have to start from the bottom of the bowl where the food would be if you're frying, and then go up to the edge. So sometimes that's drawing a line downwards through the sky to find Polaris. But the point is, use those last two stars, and then go over five times the width. And the next star you run into is Polaris. There's, there's no other bright stars in that area, so it's actually quite easy to find Polaris. Once you've done that, you know exactly where True North is, and you can use that to polar align your telescope. Very simple. Thank you very much. Clear skies.